Hey, I'm Gabby, or also known as Senorita Gabita, and welcome or welcome back to my new video. And in today's video, I will show you how I create my art prints and stickers at home for Patreon. And I start first with a sketch here in my sketchbook. And after I have finished the rough idea of what I want to do, um, I transfer it to my iPad and I will draw the digital illustration with Procreate and after I have finished all the adjustment for the colors and so on I will transfer it to my PC, my desktop here and will show you how I do the printing files. So I show you how I place the illustration in InDesign, what kind of settings I use, um, what kind of printer I have here also and what kind of paper as well and after we have finished the printing process we'll, um, we will move on to the sticker creation so the illustration is already done so we have only to add the illustration in the Cricut application I use for my stickers um, the Cricut Cricut Explorer 3 I think and I will show you how I use it so it's like a very rough insight into my creation of stickers and art prints for Patreon. It's a lot of a try and error process because I started recently my small business and I also have a lot to learn and I find very new things that I have to keep in mind for the next creation process. So, but I hope it will be a little bit helpful for you as well so you can understand what which kind of step you have to do for, for making stickers or art prints at home. So let's start with the sketching. So here it is the last one was for the March was this sketch. And here is also the sticker. And I think I will do it here the same way like with color with pencil adding under it all the colors that i have here so i have the idea how to do the coloration later on my ipad and i think i will use this sketch for the april reward i think it's very cute a lying cute guinea pig in a flower field and like this here will be the sticker and then the art print I will add also some background maybe a sky and some clouds and this is the idea what I have but first I will sketch it again and yes I think I will see how it will turn out in the end with the background added. So for sketching I use my Pilot Color Eno. I always use this type of pencil, mechanical pencil for sketching. Thank you. 
so here's voiceover Gabby and we finally reached the digital art curation process and I showed you before how I did the sketch in my sketchbook for it and the my main reason why I always keep a traditional part in my art print and sticker creation is that I want to have already like a whole concept of the finished product so like i already know what kind of colors i want to use i know where i have to place them and yes it's like a reference picture for me and i and i always have then always my sketchbook lying open on the side of my ipad so i can always have a look to it or into it and it's very helpful for me to already have like a finished piece on the side and then I know which color scheme I want to use in my digital illustration as well. After I have finished the, the sketch I took a picture and added it on the canvas in Procreate. And I started then with the with the drawing. I did a very rough line art, so also like a guideline for me. And then on top of this rough line art, I started the coloration, placing down all the colors. And I used mostly for my digital illustration brushes with a lot of texture because I really love this um, look of it i try always to transfer the vibe of the traditional artwork also to my digital illustration as well and yes i will talk to you later when we are getting into the printing process and yes So the illustration is done. I'm very happy with it. I really like the colors. It's not the same like here in the sketch. It's a little bit different because I have also to keep in mind that I use for the sketch uh, in my sketchbook also some neon colors and it is not possible to print them later. So I have to pick up a little bit a different color scheme. So that's why the colors are a little bit different, but I really like all the little details and also the texture of the brushes from Procreate that I used for this illustration. And I also really like the colors in this big cloud, a little bit of pink and yellow and also lavender or purple. It looks very dreamy and I am very excited to see in the end the final print, printed stickers and art prints. So the next step is to export the files from Procreate to my PC and there I will work with InDesign and also with the Cricut app so I can um, print them and I will show you it what kind of settings I will use for it and what I do for the art print. So the digital illustration is finished. The next part that I did is to save it like a PNG file and then I opened InDesign and also a file in the size R4 and added there two R5 files so that I have two art prints on one paper. And then I press Ctrl P, so I open the window for printing. Here you can see in the export Adobe PDF, I don't do anything. I leave all the settings how they are already. And what I change is then in the printing setting. I use setup and then a second window will open. It's sadly in German. I thought I had changed the language from my PC on English, but maybe not all applications have 
accepted it so but i hope i can explain it a little bit and i will add the translation on the screen when i don't find the right words so after you have clicked into setup a second window will open as i said and then i use for the paper the epson mud and then for the quality of the printing i pick up strong then i will go to other options and go to color correction and i will click on benutzer definiert the english translation will be on the screen and then you will find the options to do some color correction as well and also to pick up the color mode that you want to use i use for my stickers and prints epson vivid and then i also adjust a little bit the colors i add 10 plus to cyan and to yellow magenta will be at zero and then i start the printing and keep in mind that you have to use the right side of paper the front side not like me i did a mistake with the first print and i used the um, the wrong side you can see here on the left i used the wrong side and you see that the colors of the art prints are very unsaturated and blurry but then on the right side you can see the right one it's such a huge difference i would say you can see how the colors pop and also how defined the lines of the illustration are so keep that in mind and then i start to cut the art print in the right size And after that we will move to the sticker creation. I use my Cricut Explorer 3 for cutting out the stickers. And then I open on my desktop, on my PC, the Cricut application. I search then the sticker file and I place them on a new project. And then I also click on the setting complex because i want to keep all the details on my illustration and then i create and then after that you have two options and i use the print then cut image so after that it will send the file to the printer and the printer will print it in the paper sheet you will place it then in the Cricut so the Cricut can cut the stickers out for you but before that you will place all the stickers that you want to print and cut out on this on this canvas then I sent it to my printer and I deactivate the option at pleat and activate this the option use system dialog and with it the, um, the next window will open with the setting for the printer so for the sticker i use the epson photo quality inkjet paper or sometimes also the glossy paper it depends what kind of sticker paper i used at the moment and after that i go also to the color correction settings and i use there the adobe setting and then i reduce a little bit of magenta because the sticker paper i don't know with it the illustration turn out more pinkish more reddish and this is all what I do in the printing. So after you have the settings for the printing, you will move on to the 
base material in Cricut. I used there the printable waterproof sticker set in white and then for the pressure for the plate I used default. But sometimes I have to use a more stronger pressure because so it depends also how thick your stickers are because in my case I use also a self adhesive laminate sheet on top of my sticker paper so it's more protected so sometimes I need to do a strong pressure or to cut them twice so then after the printing you place the sticker sheet on this light grip mat from Cricut or your cutting machine and then I start to, to place on top the adhesive laminate, laminate sheet and I will say take your time with it because I have to do it three time, times and my first try it was all okay with the laminate sheet but I did the wrong setting for cutting it wasn't cutting through all the layers of the paper of the sticker so you will see that I had to cut it again and I don't know what was wrong but it didn't work out so I have to cut them later with some with a scissor because I don't want to waste the stickers so in my second try I totally messed up with the laminate sheet I was very under stress, I don't know, maybe because I was filming and doing different things at the same time, so it was a mess. It was very a uh, stressful time, it didn't work out like I wanted to be, I wanted to do this process very quick and finish all the stickers and move on with the next step that I have to do. I don't know why I have so much trouble to do them. In the last month from for March I don't had any problems with the sticker creation. I was so happy with the result, it was so quickly done but this time I don't know, it was like a nightmare for me. I had to do it so many times and but in the last try the third try it was okay I took my time adding the adhesives laminate I did it off screen so I don't was I wasn't under a stress to record it and to find the right angle to record it so I took my time and it worked out so and then after it worked out the last try I started to sort out sort out all the stickers because I have had so many and I don't want to throw them away so I classified them and I have some A, B, C crates of stickers so the B and C crate will be a little bit more cheaper and so I don't have to throw them away or I will use them like a goodie for each Patreon or for each order that I will get so I don't have to waste them. So as you have noticed this whole process of art print and sticker creation is a whole process of try and error from the sketching part to the digital illustration and then to print and also to find the right settings and the papers so you saw that I did a lot of mistakes that I had to do it again and again until I was very satisfied with the outcome until I have found the right settings and also the paper for the stickers this was my main problem in this creation part so I hope this video was kind of helpful for you that you have uh, insight how the creation is 
done which kind of step you have to keep in mind for your own creation i also have in the info box down below all the art supplies that i have used here maybe you want to try them out as well and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumb up and in the end you can see the final result i'm very happy with the outcome and if you want to get them in your own collection you can join patreon and receive the sticker the art print or both together as a bundle until the end of april and i will be very happy to see you on patreon as well and i will be very grateful as well if you can support my art journey and then until then the next video please stay safe and healthy and bye bye